Greetings, everybody, and welcome to our playthrough of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I am the Duck of Indeed. We have recently completed the first two games. I want to do FNAF 1 through 4. Okay, so this is when we're getting to the point where we're playing games I've never played before. I have never played FNAF 3 and 4. I have seen playthroughs of this game. I never really understood how it worked. Mainly, there's spring trap and you lure them away from your room and there's a bunch of phantom animatronics or something, yeah. Fazbear's Fright the Horror Attraction. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's. Rest is none of my business. Couldn't read the rest. Okay. You see the toy animatronics right there? Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend. <laughs> We're out tracking down a new lead right now. So uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like the attraction opens in like a week. So we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> Uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. I actually, yeah, I, I actually looked up a guide on how you can get the um, good ending in this game on the console version since you can't click on things with a mouse. They said for night one you're supposed to go to camera eight and press square. Oh. BB's Air Adventure. Yeah, I want to see if I can get the good ending. But yeah, like I said, you can't click on things with a mouse. So I was like, yeah, how do you do that in the console version? Okay. Was there anything else I was supposed to do? I was just curious. I I haven't tried. I know that you can glitch out of the map somewhere. I'm pretty, I mean, can't you glitch out of the map like in every game? I think so. There you go. Okay. I want to make sure I do that in every single one. Whee! Oh. Okay. We're in a big gray void. It looks like balloon boy. Looks like... Looks like, uh... Crying balloon boys. And a big ol' tree or something. There's three of them. Probably have been explanations by now. What some of this stuff means. Can I glitch out of this area too? I have- I've watched playthroughs of this- Oh, I can still go out. 
Oh no. Okay. Huh. Go up, go up. I'm sure there's been explanations for what all this stuff means by now. But I don't remember. You started me over. Hi. And you do that. And you go to the vents. And you seal the vents in different spots. Right. Right, I'm just... Do you ever see the vents actually get sealed? I don't know. I'm just trying things out. Cause like, how do you know exactly where s um... So if spring traps climbing through these vents, how am I gonna know exactly what side he's in? I don't know. It's 4 a.m. now, but yeah, when do things start happening? Can nothing- can, is, is, is there nothing that can really happen in night one? Is night one just getting used to stuff? You're gonna see Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie. Is one of those Balloon Boy? Maybe Mangle. You kind of kind of see Freddy's hat. You see Foxy's hook. You see a paper pal sticking out. There's the fan. Yeah, I don't, uh... Not much going on in night one. So what is it that we do in night two for the, like, the secret stuff? Yeah, it's saying... Night two, go to cam seven, hold square, and then using... Using... Okay, we got the... <laughs> using... Up left, down left, up right, down right. Yeah, I'll try to remember that. Oh. Huh? Uh-huh. I remember in the past... I don't see it right now. But there were these, like, mice running around. Oh yeah, there they are. But everyone thought they looked like slippers. I always thought they looked like slippers, too. <laughs> they look like slippers, but they're mice. Why is, why is he getting stuck? Okay. It was weird. He was getting stuck and going the wrong way. There must be parts in- there's two bonnie heads in there. Okay. Where are we going? They look like slippers, though. They really look. Follow me. It's like a phantom Freddy. I, why would I follow you? Why are there slippers running around? Oh, he's this way, too? BB, huh? BBD? I'm not gonna follow you. But he was going the other way, too. I don't trust you. You're so- what, he's everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, there he is. I'm just gonna explore. Because I can. Chica and Bonnie. Is this, uh... He, everywhere I go, he's there. Must be a dining room kind of area. Is this like the first location? Which location is this? This place is falling apart, though. It's leaky. I'm just going wherever I want. Why would I want to follow that guy? He's clearly sketchy. Ah. This is probably- I should probably just- He's- Everywhere I go, there he is. Leading me. Leading me to, uh... Certain doom, I am sure. Because I've seen this before, and obviously... Even if I haven't seen this before, it doesn't exactly seem good. Not exactly promising. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll go... Uh-oh. Run, Freddy! Go! He did not make it. He did not make it. Second night. I gotta see what they told me to do, but then I want to listen to the phone conversation. Yes? Am I gonna see anybody now? Hey man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much-needed information on how to handle, slash, climb into, slash, climb out of, mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits, as accidents, 
slash injury slash death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound beams. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more Hello. detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear's pizza. I'm supposed to do something here? Who is it again? I want to see his camera 7. Hold square and then do... Okay. Okay, there you go. That's another one. It was, um, hold square and with the, with the, um, um, with the, what is it called? The, the directional buttons. I forgot what they're called. Press up left, down left, up right, down right. That's how you get to this one. What was it called? Mangle's Quest. I think we're gonna have to start the night over, but, I mean, you guys won't have to see the beginning. Who is that? Who is that? Go to build Mangle. Never played this game before. I haven't seen anybody yet, though. Who is that? I'll just avoid him. Whoops. Stay away from me, dude. Okay. Probably a way to glitch out, though. Oh, yeah, you can. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. That's the thing that, like, people thought looked like the crying child from FNAF 4 and kind of the puppet also. It's a nice starry night. Oh, there he is! There he is right there! How do I keep him as far away from me as possible? You go, you just, you, you head to the exit and you just leave. I'd really like it if, oh there he is, he's right there looking at me, that's really creepy. He's looking, at, he, he's the only one you have to deal with though. He's the only one. Wait, where is he now? He's back there again, stay here. Hi. I want you to stay right there, I want you to go, I mean what I, like I said, what I really like you to do is just exit. How about you just exit through the exit and leave me alone? Video error. I mean, yeah, otherwise, if it wasn't for stuff like this, if it wasn't for stuff like this, you could just keep the camera on him and just keep him away from you. But I gotta do that. I gotta do that sometimes. He's still there, though. He's just, he's still there staring at me. Maybe I'm just gonna stare at him. Leave, dude! I'm pointing you towards the exit for a reason. It's because I want you to leave. I want you to back off. Maybe? How about you get lost, you loser? How about you get lost? No one wants you around. Where are you going? He's back there. I'm just going to keep on doing this. I'm going to keep luring him over there. I don't know much about this game, but I'm just going to keep on doing that. I'm sure it's going to get a lot more hectic when things start breaking down a lot more. I'm just going to leave you there. What are you doing? No. No. <laughs> How many hints does this guy need? Dude, I'm telling you, you need to, like, leave. You are not welcome here. Take the hint and leave. You have worn out your welcome. You need to just go. You are not wanted here. No one likes you. No one particularly likes you or wants you around. Where is he now? Of course. Of course we lost track of him. Where is he now? Where is he now? I was pointing you towards the exit, dude. I was doing this for a reason. How? What? No, don't... How, um... How many rooms away can you lure this dude? I'm curious. Okay. How many rooms away can I lure him, though? I want him to stay away from me. 
I don't know anything about this game. I just know you lure him around. Like, will he go there? Will he go there if I... If I just... I don't know. Like, is he gonna go where I tell him to go? It's 3 a.m. now. I want him to stay away from me. It creeps me out knowing he's out there somewhere. Where is he? Where is he? Okay. Ugh. That was fan- that's fine. That was Phantom Balloon Boy. There he is. He's really close. I don't like how close he is. I don't like how close he is. He's really close to me right now. Hello? I like, how do I get him to where he needs- where I want him to be? It, it, uh, okay, yeah, I- he is really close. Everything's getting bad. Everything's getting dark because the ventilation's bad. He's actually really close. He should actually be right to the left of that doorway, which is horrifying. He's moved now. Could be good, could be bad. I don't know where he is, though. It's creeping me out, like... <laughs> where is he? He could be in one of the vents for all we know, and then of course my thing's going out. Where is he? Where did- where'd this dude go? Yeah, it's weird, you only deal with- Oh, he's right there, that is so creepy. I- that- I- that is- that is the wrong- How, Can I lure him away? Hello? He's looking right at me, though! What do you do when he's looking right at you? Dude, go! Go somewhere else! Hello? Go somewhere else, please! I beg of you, please go somewhere else. You're creeping the heck out of me. Where is he now? We locked eyes! We locked eyes, which is not... not good. How did he not kill me? We locked eyes! We made eye contact? And he fortunately walked away? Which is good. But where is he? Hi. Where is he? It's creeping me out. I've never played this game before and it creeps me out. He's the only one I have to deal with, but I find it extremely creepy that he's just out there somewhere. I think what makes Springtrap so creepy, um, I mean, yeah, spoilers. The, um, spoilers, but the, uh, undead body of William Afton is inside of Springtrap. You know, everyone knows this by now. We all... Okay, everybody knows this by now. Yeah! I think what creeps me out so much is just, um... You're not dealing with a normal animatronic anymore. You're dealing with a human being with intelligence. And that's... I guess we may as well just go to our doom. Should we just go to our doom? I know we're gonna have to go this way. But that's what makes it so much creepier. It's not just a robot, but you're dealing with the corpse of a, a person. It's just, it's extra creepy. The creepiest animatronics are Withered, Bonnie, and Chica. But yeah, Springdrap is pretty creepy as well. Well, I think we should take a break there. We got a little head start. We'll we'll work on uh, night three in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to visit us at virtualbastion.com for more gaming goodness. Goodbye, and you're welcome.